What's up guys, German with Everything iDevice, and in this video I'm going to be covering a error which you might be encountering when you've tried to update to iOS 7 on a device without having a, a developer account or having that device's UDID registered with an Apple uh, developer account. So the error that you guys are probably getting is called uh, or it says, we're unable to complete your activation. This device is not registered as part of the iPhone developer program. If you are a member of the program, please register your device in the iPhone developer program portal. So if this is a, a issue that you guys are having, and it's basically got your, your, your iPhone or your iPod basically frozen, or you know you're, you can't do anything with iTunes, I'm going to show you how you can get out of this, and it's going to require you to downgrade back to iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.4. Um, now obviously my my phone isn't um, you know stuck on this uh, you know this screen or my iTunes isn't stuck but it's gonna be the same method for you guys that are stuck so do keep that in mind. Um, so one thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need the uh, the latest iOS 6 firmware for that device it's gonna either be 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 for the iPhone 5. I will leave the uh, iOS 6 download link down in the description along with another link which will show you which firmware you need to download for what corresponding device you have. Uh, so uh, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to just power our device off. Uh, don't have it connected into your computer at all at this point. Just go ahead and power it off. So we're going to go ahead and hold the power button and we're just going to power it down. So there's the uh, classical spinny wheel indicating that it is shutting down. So basically what we're doing is we're going to put our device into recovery mode. Uh, this is pretty simple. It's just going to allow us to put the device into recovery mode and put the uh, uh, 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 firmware back on it. So now that your device is completely powered off, what you're going to want to do is click and hold the home button and then plug it into um, your computer through US, USB and continue to hold the home button until it's in recovery mode. So I am using my dock so this will look a little weird and it's going to be a little tricky but so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's see if I can figure out the best way to do this. We're going to go ahead and click the home button and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug it in. Keep holding the home button until you see it go into recovery mode. So there is recovery recovery mode we can go ahead and let off the home button and now that it's plugged in we're gonna go ahead and jump over to my computer so now in iTunes as you can see it says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode you must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is hold the option slash alt key on Mac or hold the shift key on PC so hold that and then go ahead and click on restore iPhone it's gonna allow you to browse for uh, the firmware which I told you guys to download in the beginning of this video again you need to download whatever is the latest 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 firmware and just go ahead and put it on your desktop as you can see it right there so I'm gonna go ahead and select 6.1.4 and go ahead and click open iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to 6.1.4 and will verify the restore with Apple so you can go ahead and click restore and as you can see now iTunes is basically gonna go through its process of uh, extracting the software and then installing the uh, 6.1.4 firmware onto my device. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. So there you go, as you can see, I basically uh, got it out of that stuck mode and downgraded it back down to 6.1.4. Uh, again, all you got to do is put it into recovery mode, go ahead and click on the restore, select your firmware, and then it'll go through its process. Uh, so there you go, that's basically how you get out of that stuck stage of you know trying to install iOS 7 beta when your your device is not registered within a developer account. If you guys want to see the proper way to update to the iOS 7 beta, be sure to check out the link in the description. I made a video on that. 
Uh, but that's going to be it for this tutorial, guys. If you did enjoy it or it helped you, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That will help me out tremendously. Also, if you guys want to see more tutorials or reviews or guides like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything Out of Ice, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.